Once upon a time, there lived an old seafarer. He lived by the seaside, surrounded by high cliffs, and only seagulls were his company. Villagers said he was more than hundred years old, but no one could tell for sure. People would always come to him to seek for advice. Some would say he was a wizard, some would say he was a magician, others would call him a philosopher. No one knew where he came from, and no one knew where his knowledge came from either. One day, a young sailor came to the seafarer, asking his advice. I heard legends about you, said the sailor, and I want to become one too. It wouldn't be easy, son. To become a legend, you'll have to go through a thick and thin and conquer your own fears. I am not scared. I am as sweet as a fiddle and I believe when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Then I'll give you three riddles. You can come back when you've sold them all and I'll tell you the secret of being a legend. Here comes my first riddle. Find the end of the world and pass my greetings to the keeper. He will give you something to help you solve my second riddle. Here comes my second riddles. Who may help a sailor to come down the sea in the storm? Where there is no human soul around. And here comes my third riddle. What can guide your way when you are lost at sea in dark nights? Now you can go, my son. Get yourself a good ship and sail away. And the young sailor did so. It took him years of sailing around, fighting the rough sea, and conquering his own fears, defeating his own doubts. Once he returned to the old village where the old seafarer lived, he came back a grown man, known as the most noble and valiant sailor of his time. The sounds of waves breaking on the shore accompanied his steps and seagulls were flying around and singing as if telling the story of their lives suspended the sea and in the sky and each flight they took. I sold your riddles, whispered the sailor, stepping inside the seafarer's house. The old man turned around with a mysterious smile and asked, and what are the answers you found, my son? And the sailor shared his story narrating his adventures with great delight. It took me years of sailing to find the end of the world. I was sailing from shore to shore, from country to country, and no one could tell me where it was. At last, in despair, I sailed west and got lost at sea. At dawn, my ship approached the land, unknown to me, and I saw a lighthouse at the top of the cliff. I came up, and there was a lighthouse keeper as if waiting for me. He saluted me in order towards a huge rock with writings in another language which I didn't know. The keeper simply said, He discovered a rock, the end of the world. And then he added as his hand slowly began to lift up from his side his finger stretching out as he pointed towards a large mass of land in front of us. That is where the land ends and the sea begins. Then he handed over a little parcel to me and patted me on the shoulder. Here you go. Open it once you get into the storm. And so I did. The sea was calm during the first weeks of my journey, but then it got stormy one night. The clouds were getting darker and darker, while waters were coming way too close to the ship in large waves, eventually starting to fill it in. I remembered about the parcel and opened it, hoping it would help, and I found a flute to my surprise. I was outraged and thought, both you and Lighthouse Keeper were making fun of me. But I tried everything, everything I could to keep my ship on track. The sea wasn't getting any better. 
So, I started playing the flute. Heaven accepted the thought, said it could be my last night. The sounds it was making were magnificent and enchanting, and suddenly I saw something moving in deep waters. There came all kinds of water nymphs and sea maids. I gazed at them in amazement, when they started singing and tune with my flute. Don't stop playing, Captain. Don't stop playing, Captain, they sang. We will help you. We will help you, they sang. I would keep making music, hoping to survive. And gradually, sky cleared up, creating a new day with warm sunshine, embraced by deep blue waters. Since that moment, any time there was a storm, I would play the flute, and they would always come down the sea, keeping my ship safe. The years went by, and I found many friends that were sailors, but I still had one more riddle to solve. One night, when I was sailing around with my friends and looking up the sky, wondering what could be the answer to your last riddle, I was turning the steering wheel and looking at the North Star, trying to make the direction the ship goes as clear as possible. And then I realized that I knew the answer. Since I started being a sailor in the first place, the answer was right in front of me and with me. But I just refused to see it. The old seafarer smiled and nodded. That's the first secret to being a legend. All answers are inside you. But it may take years for you to open your eyes and be all ears to realize it. The second secret is there is always someone by your side, and with friends you grow stronger. They could be sailors like you. Oh, they can even be mermaids and keep you safe. You are never alone. The third secret is you become a legend during the journey. The journey itself transforms you and makes you who you want to be without you noticing it. Then, with a kind and mysterious smile, the seafarer gave a sapphire ring to the sailor. Now it is yours, my son. Remember what it says, and remember what you have learned along the journey. And the ring said, the wisdom is within you.